Hey, what's up guys? It's Nick White. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube, and I do all the lead code and hacker rank problems. I got playlists for them both. Uh, we're just getting into the hacker rank problems. I think this is the sixth one we're doing. Um, this is called Mark and Toys. We're going through interview preparation kit. Uh, this one's super easy. We just did it. Um, Mark and Jane are very happy after having their first child. Their son loves toys, so Mike, Mark wants to buy him some. Yeah, Mark and Jane are happy, and their son loves toys. Very typical, you know, kind of thing. There are a number of toys lying in front of him tagged with their prices. Mark only has a certain amount to spend, and he wants to maximize the number of toys he can buy. So given a list of prices, I feel like everyone has done this problem before. It's kind of like just the most beginner problem. Given a list of prices and amount to spend, what is the maximum number of toys can Mark can buy? So we have a list of prices, one, two, three, four. If he has seven, then he obviously wants to buy one, two, three, because he can get three toys for six, or you can get three and four, he can only get two toys. So it's basically like quantity over quality. We want mo all the quantity, don't care about the quality. Um, function description, complete the function maximize maximum toys in the editor below. Should return an integer representing the maximum number of toys that Mark can purchase. Maximum toys with the following parameters, prices, an array of integer representing toy prices. K is Mark's budget. Uh, so this is really uh, easy. So basically, uh, prices is not sorted at the beginning. So what we're going to do, we'll have this. We want the maximum number of toys we can get with Mark's budget. Um, so basically, we're just going to sort the prices array from decreasing to increasing, like this, the one, two, three, four. And then you just decrement the budget as you add an item from the smallest possible value. Um, you decrement the budget by the value, and then you add one to maximum number of toys. Because obviously, if you want to maximum, maximize the number of toys, you're going to want the minimum value. So we just sort it, and then the minimum are out the front. So we just loop through until k, until we're running out, we run out of our budget, and then we return the to number of toys. So max toys will set to zero at first. Um, if prices dot length is equal to zero, then obviously we'll just return max toys right away because that means that we can't get any toys. Um, or, actually, I didn't even think about this, or if K is equal to zero, then we also can't get any toys. So that's a good condition to write maybe. Um, Java has a built-in sorting function. Um, so we could just do arrays.sort on uh, prices. I was going to implement my own sorting algorithm, like merge sort or something, and see if I could do it more efficiently. Then, But it doesn't really matter uh, in there. I didn't find, see a way that I could do it. Um, so sorting and then just looping through after n log n, it's going to be n log n no matter what. I tried to find a way to you know, do it while we we're sorting so we didn't have to do this extra loop, but I couldn't figure it out. Um, if you guys know, let me know in the comments. I don't think there's a way to do it, but let me know if you can implement like merge sort and while they're doing like swaps or something like that, you can add one to max toys. I can really see how to do that because um, you, you have to sort the whole thing before you get the minimum, minimum value. So prices is sorted. We're just gonna loop to prices.length. Um, and then obviously each element of prices, we're just gonna decrement the budget by each element of prices. So um, prices.length, uh, prices, not pr prices of I obviously. So the current element we decrement the budget by. And then here's the thing, we just wanna check if K is less than zero, we're not gonna increment the number of toys. We're just gonna return it. Um, and then we'll in increment number of toys down here. So if K is less than zero, that means that we can't afford this toy. So we, we decrement the budget, but that means we weren't able to afford it. It has to be greater than or equal to zero, meaning that we bought it and we have either leftover money or no money left. That's fine. But if we have less than the, um, if we weren't able to afford it, then we're not going to add that we're not that toy is not getting added so obviously we're not going to increment max toys so if it's this then we just return the number of toys that means we ran out of our budget and that's going to be the maximum number of toys otherwise we increment max toys and then we just return max toys hopefully i didn't take too long on this i know i was talking a lot uh, i just haven't made a video in a while so let's run this um What's the problem here? Array, yeah, it's not array.sort in Java, it's arrays.sort, always gotta remember that. I don't know why, but I guess arrays class, that makes sense. Uh, there we go, congratulations, test case is passed. Uh, let's submit it. Very easy problem, sorting, decrementing by the, but uh, running out of your budget, adding one, 
really easy stuff. So that was it. We passed it. That looks like the best way that I know of. Um, and log in. Um, and let me know if you guys like implement quick sort or heap sort or merge sort, and you can somehow find some trick to get it in reduced time. Um, let's look at the discussion. I don't think there's a way to do it in logarithmic time. I didn't see any. So, you know, and obviously we want constant space, but I don't know. All right, let me, let me know what you guys think. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Check out the other videos. Obviously, I have a ton of them, so just check those out. And thank you for watching. See you guys next time.